Hey guys, how's it going? It's Justine, and today we're gonna be unboxing the new GoPro Hero 6. Now this just came out, so I'm excited to take a look at it. I've had so many GoPros. I'm a huge GoPro fan. The one thing that I'm not a fan of by GoPro is the GoPro Oh! No! 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 Land it, land oh, it! No! Let's not get into that. We're here to talk about the Hero 6. One of the biggest upgrade features is that you can now do 240 frames a second in 1080p. The 4K 60 and the 240 1080p is kind of interesting because now you can also do that on the new iPhone. So I look forward to testing those out and seeing which one looks better. It's waterproof up to 33 feet, voice activated, and it has the touch LCD on the back. Let's do this. Oh, there's a, I don't even need my knife. There's a nice little pull tab here, just all ready for me to. This looks very, very similar to the Hero 5. Very similar. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's almost exactly the same. One of the things that I was most upset about when I did my previous unboxing, which I watched back because I was like, what did I do last year when I unboxed this? The first thing that I'll notice is my hair was much more blonde, my camera was tilted, my lighting wasn't as good. My biggest complaint though was that the new GoPro was USB-C powered. Oh, come on now! <sighs> Now mostly I was upset because all of the other things that I had were micro USB or of course lightning. But now at this point, it's only been a year and now I want everything to be USB-C. Oh, how the times change, my friends. So we've got our USB-C cable, we've got our two sticky mounts and our battery and our GoPro. So here's all our stuff. Now, as I said, I'm a huge GoPro fan. What I love most about GoPro is its versatility. You can take it anywhere. You can throw it in your purse. If it gets wet, doesn't matter. We're losing light! You might be confused as to what's going on. You might be like, just, you know, you're crazy. And you're right, I potentially could be. But this is the GoPro Hero 5, and this is the Hero 6. Let's take a look at them side by side. This is the 6, this is the 5. Looking at them head on, they basically look exactly the same. They did change a little icon here on the 6. It looks more like a power button as opposed to the little capture button that will allow you to like add moments. Ugh. Let's set this up so we can hopefully get outside here very, very quickly. Okay, we're gonna charge it <laughs> and do a setup at the same time. Here is our little welcome screen. Hello, how are you? Got my GoPro all paired up to my phone, which is great because you're able to control it through your phone. You can adjust settings and it's much easier than using the interface on the GoPro. My battery's only at 13%. Oh boy. Well, I guess let's take it outside and test it out real quick. So here's a little test holding up both GoPros side by side and comparing the quality of each one. We're shooting 4K, 30 frames a second, and in wide view. So these are basically side by side. Each should be fairly the same quality. Our GoPros are now filming each other. I can't wait to take these out in some bright light. I'm gonna do a full GoPro only vlog. So we're gonna see what that looks like to see, is this something that you could just vlog with? Look at my setup back here. <laughs> Stuff, phone, tripods, battery, shoes. What are those? So we're currently here editing, having a lovely time. But there's a problem because when you're shooting in the higher frame rate, it now encodes a different codec. So it's now using HEVC, which is great, but I haven't upgraded my Mac to High Sierra yet. Just regular basic Sierra does not support it. So I'm not able to edit it in Final Cut or even open any of the files. So right now I'm having to convert it all. So hopefully the footage looks okay. I don't know, this is this was unexpected. I didn't realize this was gonna happen. Slow-mo, 240 frames a second on the GoPro, slow mo 240 frames a second on the iPhone.
watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little unboxing. Tomorrow I plan on taking the GoPro Hero 6 out and I'm gonna do a little vlog test. I'm basically just gonna do an entire vlog all day on the Hero 6 and see what it looks like. I'll probably post that video in maybe a few days from now, so stay tuned. If you're not subscribed, make sure you guys click the subscribe button and be sure to turn on alerts because I'm not really sure if subscriptions work the way that they're supposed to on YouTube. <laughs> But the alerts, you'll get a notification so you guys will know when I post a new video. Anyway, I'll see you guys soon. Look for more fun videos, hopefully coming up soon. I've got a ton of cooking videos coming up, all themed around Halloween. And yeah, I know what you're saying, because I read the comments. I'm really confused, Justine. What type of channel is this? Is it a tech channel? Is it a vlogging channel? Is it a cooking channel? Who are you? What is this place? <laughs> I wish I had an answer for you. I would say that my channel is basically an extension of myself. It is all of the things that I like and hopefully you can find something that you guys like here too. I'm gonna go edit now. I'll see you soon.